Welcome back to CAD Show. In today's video, we're diving into a powerful new feature in Profile Builder for, for SketchUp, the whole cutting tool. If you haven't tried Profile Builder 3 yet, there's a free trial available. Let's get started. The whole cutting tool in Profile Builder 3 is very user-friendly and versatile. It works on both profiles created within Profile Builder and regular SketchUp objects. However, there are a few limitations we'll discuss. Let's start. First, let's create a simple wall by extruding a rectangle using the push or pull tool. Make sure to group this geometry because the whole cutting tool only works on grouped objects. Activate the whole tool from the toolbar. You'll see options for different types of holes. Let's create a circular hole with a diameter of 24 inches. Set the diameter, click the plus button to add holes and place the hole on the face of your wall. This tool cuts through any thickness, as long as the Full Depth option is selected. For non-full depth holes, deselect Full Depth and specify the depth you need. You can also cut holes in curved surfaces. Simply draw your curve, group it, and use the whole tool. It can be a bit tricky to get it to sit flush, so be patient and adjust as needed. To demonstrate, let's create a door opening with a rectangular hole. Choose the rectangular hole option, set your dimensions, and click to place the hole. Remember, the tool only cuts holes in the selected object, so ensure the correct geometry is highlighted. You can also cut holes in spherical objects. Create a sphere using the Follow Me tool, group it, and use the hole tool to add a rectangular hole. Again, aligning the hole on curved surfaces can be challenging, but with a bit of adjustment, you can achieve the desired result. Next, let's explore custom holes, draw the profile you want to use, click the plus button to add a new profile, and save it. You can also select existing profiles from the Profile Builder library. For example, use a steel I-beam profile to cut a hole in your object. This versatility allows you to use various profiles as cutters. Profile Builder's whole tool also works on assemblies. For instance, let's use a wall construction assembly. Once the wall is created, you can cut a hole for a door. Note that this won't automatically adjust the framing, so some manual adjustments might be necessary for accuracy. Finally, let's discuss partial depth holes. If you're working with a multi-layer wall, like a cavity wall assembly, specify the depth of each layer to cut through only the desired layers. This is great for detailed models where you need precise control over each layer. That's a wrap on how to use the whole cutting tool in Profile Builder 4. I hope this tutorial helped you understand its capabilities. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or thoughts. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe for more SketchUp content every week. If you want to support the channel, consider joining our Patreon every little bit helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Now it is using practical in-house wall.